Hi guys, welcome to Nerd Bites, and this is going to be what I thought of the Wonder Woman official trailer. San Diego Comic Con obviously has been going on this weekend and more and more stuff is being dropped, so of course I'm going to be doing a few videos. The Wonder Woman trailer, I mean it was, it was exactly what I kind of wanted from this Wonder Woman trailer, just showing the sheer power of her and just this really confident, really awesome character and I just, I I love, I just love the way they're putting her together. Yes, we got a decent taste of her in there, Dawn of Justice, but having her her own movie and everything just seems to me like it's, they're really going the right way with this at the moment. One thing I really enjoy as well is the way with this trailer, it just, it looks a lot more colourful, a lot more vibrant, and a lot more fun than necessarily the Dawn of Justice kind of movie was. It was a lot darker in tone, but that is jokes, but it was minor. But with this, they've kind of listened to the fans and gone, right, we're going to inject a bit more fun into this and a lot more colour. It doesn't have to be really dark and sombre in tone. Her co costume is a lot more bright and just seeing her using all the action scenes with the, with the lasso of truth and her sword, shield, the lot, going on horseback, just absolutely everything was just really done well and I can't wait to see more. The uh, dynamic between her and Chris Pine's character, now I knew obviously they would have a kind of working relationship in this film, but it seems like potentially there might be some kind of romance going there, which I'm fine with again, I don't mind the romance, but I don't know whether it was necessarily needed to be honest, but the one thing I quite like about it is that she is definitely wearing the trousers in this relationship, even at one point where he says, I can't let you do this, he goes, what I do is not concern of you, I was like, yes Wonder Woman, you're damn right, it's your fucking life, do what you want, you're fucking in charge, you're awesome, he's just a dude confirmation that she was she was built by Zeus as well because I think as far as I remember because I don't know Wonder Woman's um, origin as as well as I probably should but there was two basically one of them the, I think the original one she was built out of clay and then the other one she was um, she was a, a descendant of the gods or she was made by the gods and then this they're going with the god one she was made by Zeus so that kind of whole thing exists in this universe now which again is good because if you're gonna go a DC cinematic universe you might as well go all out there and just fucking go nuts with it. So yeah, absolutely, I think it's a good idea. The clay thing, like I said, I think was probably a bit too far, so the Zeus one makes a bit more sense, but you can still have a better story to be told with that origin. And the error as well, I think World War One is where it's set. I think that, again, they look like they've done really well with that. I think they're doing really well with it, like they have with World War Two with Captain America. They've, they've set it really well. This is a, the, the aesthetic of it and everything just looks like it's been really, really well done. As it does, for uh, all the Greek goddesses and everything in their place and you see a few scenes like that and you see her mother as well at some point talking to her and all of them fighting. That just looks like it's done really well because obviously it's thousands of years ago before she even gets to World War One as well. Again, these errors that they've done, are just they look like they've been put together really well. That final shot as well when she's beating up those guys in the um, in like a warehouse or whatever it is and just go into town just destroy them. She, you just, it shows her ferocity and her quickness and everything and how awesome she is as a character and I just I think that was really cool to I think we saw kind of rough shots of it a while back someone re like released some like footage but this is like the polished version and it just looks so awesome and then a the title coming up with the Wonder Woman theme tune that we got from Dawn of Justice we're going with this official theme tune now for Wonder Woman kind of guitar kind of epic kind of I don't know how to explain it really just it fits her character so well this theme tune and I just I, I think it works perfectly so a film that I was kind of like that with, on the fence about whether I'd enjoy it because of a Wonder Woman I don't know enough about her to to know whether I enjoy it. This trailer has got me a lot more pumped up for it. I looked at it and go, yes, that looks like a film I'm definitely going to enjoy and they're potentially going in the right direction with this cinematic universe. So that's what I thought of the Wonder Woman official trailer from Comic Con. What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments or send me an email. You can also find me in the various social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, moviepilot.com. Just type in Nerdbytes anywhere and I'm sure you'll find me. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. And of course, keep it nerdy.